Hello everybody and welcome to today's Children's Liturgy. We've got something really quite tricky but quite amazing to think about today. And of course we have our candle burning brightly to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world and we believe in him with all of our hearts. We're going to make the sign of the cross together in a moment to begin our liturgy. And I'd like you to think really carefully today about the words that we are using when we make the sign of the cross. Off we go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So in our sign of the cross, we've just mentioned the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The three persons of God. And he is all three in one. And we call this the Holy Trinity. And today is Trinity Sunday. When we are celebrating the Trinity, we are celebrating that God has, or God is, three persons in one. He's God the Father, he's God the Son, and he's God the Holy Spirit. It's quite a tricky thing to get our heads around, isn't it? Let's think about, um, imagine me, I am Emily and I might have three different jobs. So sometimes I am Emily the chef and sometimes I'm Emily the fireman and sometimes I'm Emily the nurse. I've got three different jobs but I'm still Emily each time. I'm the same person with three jobs. It's a little bit like with the Trinity. It's one God, but he's got three persons. And the amazing thing is that he can be all three at once. He's God the Father, he's God the Son, and he's God the Holy Spirit. All in one go. Isn't that amazing? It just shows us how God is powerful and he can do all things. And we believe in him even if we might find it a bit tricky to understand. It's what we call a mystery, something that's tricky to understand, but we still believe it because we believe in God and we believe that he can do everything. So let's listen to today's gospel now and that will help us to just think about the Trinity even further. So we'll sing our Alleluia, our word of praise and thanks to God. Off we go. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that whoever believes in him shall not die but shall live forever. God sent his son into the world to save the world. So in the gospel today, we hear that God loved the world so much that he sent his son. And this helps us to think about the Trinity because God, who loved the world, we think about God the Father. I've got here a picture of some hands holding a, wor a world. And this reminds us of God the Father because God the Father created the world and created everything in the world and everybody in the world. The Father is God who created the world, Father. And the Father sent his Son into the world. Who is the Son of God? Of course it is, it's Jesus. So we've got God, the Son, or Jesus, who is also God. And then we have got the Holy Spirit. And we were celebrating the Holy Spirit last week in the Feast of Pentecost. And we've talked quite a bit over the last few weeks in Children's Liturgy about the Holy Spirit. So this is the third person of God, the Holy Spirit who is our helper. 
So, God the Father, the Creator, God the Son, Jesus, who came into the world and taught us how to love, and God the Holy Spirit, who is our helper and who burns in our hearts and gives us courage, helps us to be brave and strong. So God is all three in one. What an amazing mystery. We don't quite understand it. We try hard to understand it. But we believe, we believe that God is all these things and we need them all. It reminded me of a set of traffic lights, which is the idea for your craft today to think about the Trinity. So when we come across traffic lights, we have a red light, which the job of the red light is that it tells us that we need to stop. And then we have the orange light, we need to slow down. And then the green light, which means we can go. So we wouldn't be able to have just one traffic light. Imagine if it was on red all the time. That's not going to work. The traffic's not going to move. Or we couldn't have it on green all the time either because it could get a bit dangerous, everybody whizzing along. So we need to have all three in this one set of traffic lights to keep the traffic running smoothly. So it kind of shows us how with God, we need all three, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And God is all three. I thought you'd have a go at making your own set of Trinity traffic lights this week. And I wondered that you might be able to put them somewhere in your home and that every time you walk past your set of Trinity traffic lights, you could stop at your red light. And then on your orange light, you could make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then on your green light, you're ready to go and share the love of God in those three persons of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit with everyone in your home. And that would be a lovely way to celebrate the Trinity this week, the amazing mystery of the Trinity of the three persons of God in one. So amazing. We have such an awesome and wonderful God, such an exciting God, full of surprises, full of mysteries. There's a little song as well that we could maybe sing to help us to think about the Trinity, a really well-known tune and we could do some actions to go with it. So let's point up to heaven for God the Father. So God the Father will point up to heaven. God the Son, we're going to put our hands on our hearts because Jesus is love. And God the Holy Spirit, we're going to kind of do some twirly whirly winds because of course wind was one of the ways that the Spirit comes. So we'll sing it together or sing it with me, very short and simple, and we'll do our actions. God the Father, God the Father, God the Son, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit, three in one, three in one. Let's do it again together. God the Father, God the Father, God the Son, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit, three in one, three in one. Well done everyone, give yourselves a clap. Lovely. And now let's finish with a little prayer with those three persons of God to just celebrate and be thankful for that special and amazing mystery of the Holy Trinity today. So we'll join our hands together. Father, thank you for creating our beautiful world. Father, thank you for creating our beautiful world. Jesus, thank you for teaching us how to love. Jesus, Thank you for teaching us how to love. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding our hearts. 
Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding our hearts. Amen. And to finish our liturgy, let's make the sign of the cross together really beautifully and thinking about those three persons of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a lovely Trinity Sunday, everybody. We'll see you next week for some more children's liturgy. Bye, everyone, and God bless. <laughs>